hi joy thanks so much for your question so we're just going to have a look at number 1a so we can get an idea of what it is that they're asking us here and normally when we have things like a hyperbolic function when we have a function that looks like this what we're looking for really is solve is to solve for a and to solve for q so we're trying to solve here for a a is equal to something and q is equal to something okay and i hope you've actually watched through some of those watobi videos because they're very helpful in letting us know what's happened in this particular case and normally when they give you the asymptote our asymptote in the function itself is determined by q so q is our asymptote when they tell you that your horizontal asymptote is negative three that means that that is what our q is so in this case we've already kind of got a leg up our equation will read y is equal to a over x minus three and that's where we're sitting at the moment and you know it, it looks like it's getting a little bit simpler for us to solve but now we have to solve for a we know what q is we've just discovered that q is equal to negative 3 so we know that q is equal to negative 3 negative 3 so now in order for us to solve for a what we can do is substitute x and y into this formula that we have over here this one and that will leave a by itself and we can make that the subject of the formula in order to tell what it actually is so let's see what that looks like so we're going to take y our y is going to be negative 1 is equal to a divided by our x which in this case is 2 our x coordinate minus 3 now we can solve for a i'm going to take negative 3 over to the other side i'm going to get positive so i'm going to get negative 1 plus 3 is equal to a over 2 and negative 1 plus 3 that's just 2 divided or is equal to a divided by 2 and then we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of it so i'm going to times by 2 on the side times by 2 on the side and that means therefore my a is equal to q i'm um, to 4 sorry to four and that is what my answer for this is i can rewrite my whole equation as y is equal to four over x minus three and that's basically how we do it we just look at the equation the way that the way that they've given us and we use what we've got in order to find a and q and that's what gives us the formula in this sense Okay, now we know that a is equal to 4 and q is equal to negative 3. And this over here is our equation that they're asking us for. So our horizontal asymptote is q. So q here is our horizontal asymptote because q is what moves our graph up and down. And then in order to solve a, we just use the to the two points that they've given us the x and the y that they've given us in order to find a i hope that was helpful if you have any more questions um, please send them our way try and solve 1b and 1c using the same formula that we've just gone through and see if you can figure out what they are and let me know maybe just send me a picture showing me your work out um, you're working out that would be great okay thanks joy